Hey guys, Chris Ignato here. You're watching Nature here and now. You see this awesome thing in front of me right now? This thing right in front of my hand? This is Neoconocephalus rotusus, also known as the sword bearing conehead. It's a type of katydid, and you can clearly see that this one is a female because she has that long ovipositor sticking out the back. Many crickets and katydids and various other insects, even bees and wasps, have what are known as ovidepositors that they use for laying eggs either in soft soils or sand or beneath the bark of you know trees and other plants. The, it's only the females that have those ovidepositors because they're used for depositing eggs. Cool thing, many wasps and bees, well all of them in fact, those stingers are just modified ovidepositors. So of course, that's why the males cannot sting you because they don't have egg laying apparatus. But back to the sword bearing cone head, what an amazing depositor on her. You know, many of them have like either a short ovidepositor or a bit of a fork like the fork tailed Katie did has a fork shaped ovidepositor. None of the other species have depositors quite as long as this one here, which is of course why this one gets that name. I actually don't see many of these. I usually see maybe one or two a year, and of course this is my first one for this year, so I'm, I'm quite excited. Another characteristic of these types of katydids is that long projection on the forehead. You know, that's why they're called cone heads. There's a whole bunch of different cone head katydids, and they all share that trait, that, that pointy forehead. And it's a lot of fun. Some species you actually pinpoint based on either these little markings around the base of the antenna that you can barely see, or this black shape on the underside of the forehead. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. These are members of the Orthoptera, and that includes crickets, grasshoppers, and of course katydids and you know other insects that are related. Also, being katydids, they're pretty much herbivores. There are some omnivorous species out there in the world, but these guys are herbivores. They feed on, you know, leaves and vegetative matter, often in gardens and stuff, which is why to some people they're a nuisance. Coneheads, like other orthopteras, don't actually undergo a complete metamorphosis whatsoever. Pretty much their, their offspring will look very similar to the adults, just a lot smaller, yet they're lacking the wings. And you can easily spot that because you'll see these tiny little wing buds, you know, towards their shoulder region at the thorax. Now, underneath these wings is a somewhat robust abdomen, just like on grasshoppers and stuff, but you can't see it with these wings in the way. These are powerful hoppers. They can jump quite a distance, but as you see here, the adults have these wings that allow them to fly any distance they wish. And being late at night in July, they're attracted to light sources. I'm so excited to find one of these and actually be able to share it on film for a change. But uh, there you have it, the sword bearing cone head, and uh, I'm real excited. Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.